what's going on everybody it's portal back with another madden ultimate team video guys and today we got a ton of news we got series three info um pretty much revealed but not entirely we got a course that you see on the screen harvest stuff which prior to anything you know we didn't get anything even related to most feared for a while so it is nice to see a harvest screen already we also have the ltd for today which is the thursday ltd you guys so you guys know the deal now before we get into today's video and go through everything you guys already know if you want to be shouted out in the poodle squad all you got to do is comment down below poodle squad like the video turn on the noti bell and for today's uh, poodle squad shout out we have james g shout out to james g for being a part of the poodle squad appreciate you a lot thank you for showing support each and every day now let's get into this let's go over what we got to go over today now for the first thing here guys oh also don't have the coin intro if you guys need coins pick up today's ltds or you need coins pick up anything from series 3 tomorrow or whatever, for whatever it is, head over to my reserve down below in the description. Use code Poodle fifteen percent off. Everything's still discounted for Halloween, so take advantage of that. You can pick up coins, cards, training, everything on there. That's about it. Let's get into this. So, this was one of the screens say Madden Ultimate Team Autumn Blast. Autumn, Ultimate Team's Autumn Blast blows through Madden NFL twenty one this November. Feast on the program with all new Thanksgiving themed content. Upgrade your Ultimate Team roster. So we already knew we were getting a Thanksgiving promo. Now, I think it will start earlier than most feared started, probably. And that's only because first Thanksgiving is sooner than Halloween is, as well as the fact that we do a Black Friday at the end. So, kind of hoping we see this anywhere between the 16th to the 20th. I mean, in years past, we've gotten it earlier, but you can't really count on that anymore. So, hoping we see that. I expect probably like a Barry Sanders, an RG3, a Lawrence Taylor, a Tyree Kill, a few things. And again, remember, this is also based off the of Thanksgiving game. So, if you want to know who we're going to get, you can just go look at who plays on Thanksgiving, kind of based around that as well. And then, of course, for other stuff, you know, Masters and stuff could be Barry. Could be quite a few guys. Troy Aikman. There's always, oh, Michael Irvin. Always a good, good amount of guys uh, for the Blitz, Nitrain Lane. You never really know with that. But about it for that, guys, let's move on to the next screen here, which is going to be the title update, which I do want to get into real quick. So key highlights. We got new gameplay updates, endless run, gameplay fixes and tuning, updated QB slide, quarter, uh, quarterback dive mechanic, streamline, updated parts of the MUT uh, interface, franchise uh, improvements, multi-user franchise crashes, and uniform gear now guys this is, this is a really really big update it's going to change a lot of madden it's going to change the way madden's played right now and i'll show you why first they fixed dropped interceptions if you guys have been playing madden you know dropped interceptions are the most infuriating thing in every mode regs franchise ultimate team it changes the game right you know you go up seven nothing in the first in weekend league you know if you can get a pick or score back they're probably going to quit or their home momentum's thrown off because here's the thing if you go back down two scores you can't really be running the ball too much so thing is if someone has a dominant run game and you put them back 14-0 now they're passing a lot now you force some more turnovers they're out of the game now you go they, they throw it deep pick or they throw it in the flats right a flat that's the worst a flat pick and you just drop it and keep running that's always been the worst that's been going on and when you do that they come with the next play they, they hit you with a beater and now the game's tied changes the whole game you you were one pick away from out from a win so you guys understand what i'm saying here but what they did was they tuned the decrease uh, they, they tuning to decrease catching penalties for defenders catching traffic pretty much you know when you're, you're interception an easy interception and the guy's like near you and they would just drop it like like that footstep something and then the other one is where teammates knock out their own ball and that's frustrating i've had safeties go up with the animation where they like fall back like that and the other the other safety just runs right into them and the ball pops out very annoying and then they fix an issue where quarterback draw plays off quarterbacks weren't fumbling so they're gonna be fumbling a lot more now regardless and they also added logic to slow down QB's acceleration at the end of the drop back on QB draw. You know, when they would just kind of like burst out like a glitch, they fixed that. So a quarterback draw is not going to be anywhere near as OP as it's been as, as of recently. So that's been your game plan. I, it's probably still going to work, but may not be as effective. So definitely uh, d d definitely stay tuned for that. Next, guys, they have done uh, X and square for slide and hold X square for dive. That's important because the double tapping X has been really annoying. So the quarterback slide is not just tap X once which I hated double tapping X is like, it was so glitchy. Like I would double tap it. And then like, if I had like quarterback, Kyler Murray, Lamar, they would like go to dive and then quickly slide. It was just really frustrating and scary to slide with them. There's a much easier way to slide last second and get the most yardage you need without getting hit. And yes, it says this isn't ideal if they changed it, but it's more familiar now. Again, yeah, I understand that. Yeah, it's more familiar, but it's hard. It's kind of annoying to change things, you know, midway into the, into the year. Cause again, it's gonna throw people off, especially with muscle memory. They uh, tune to reduce inaccurate pressure caused by uh, inaccurate pass caused by pressure, and then here they fixed AI edge rush animations for triggering certain alignments. Guys, they did fix the disengage glitch. If you guys know the disengage blitz, where it's kind of like the, the, the lineman just disengage and just completely blitz through. And let's see, they uh, they tuned outside runs and outside stretch plays to decrease average yards per carry. So I guess they just nerfed it a little bit. Um, they fixed the rough and the kicker penalty on field goal save man. Fix an issue causing the ball to sometimes launch across the field after a hit stick versus the receiver. Tune the steering truck move for a bruiser ball carry type to reduce the fast oversteer that was getting to be used as an exploit. 
pretty much when you just trucked and kept trying to sprint and truck and you were just getting a really fast um, move. And they fixed a few other things. So you can see this fixing issue, subbing wide receivers into halfback position and subbing fullbacks and tight ends in appropriately swap positions. So they fixed all that. So that's great because a lot of stuff was definitely, definitely annoying for the most part. Now, I don't know what just happened there. Let's add that pack in. Uh, so let's see, we got some more stuff here. Next, we got, uh, what I really care about here is going to be Superstar KO. They added new endless mode, endless, the new mode, endless run. Compete to set the highest win streak in Superstar KO history. Play until you lose and see how many you match up against the greatest KO players in our global leaderboards for endless run. And then for franchise, for all you franchise guys, they did fix the glitch where when you were drafting, if you were on the screen while drafting, you would get, you were mad, it would crash and or freeze. And they just fixed some improvements on it, of course. Next, let's see what else we got. We have Cooper Cup, so that's one, that's one of our new LTDs for the day. 92 overall wide receiver Cooper Cup for the Los Angeles Rams. 89 speed, 80 jumping, 92 catching, 87 catching traffic, 87 special route running, 91 medium route running, 86 deep route running. And I mean, Cooper Cup's decent, you know, he's not he's not great. He's not going to be insane. The speed's, the speed's low. I mean, if you power him up and chem him up, he's going to have 90 speed. He's going to have some decent catching. He's going to have all the route running thresholds. But again, you could do a lot better with the route running thresholds than this. Plenty of other receivers. There's guys like Steve Smith. And just a bunch of, well, in general, just a bunch of other receivers that faster can do a lot more and have a lot more thresholds than Cooper Cup has. And it's just that speed, you know, the speed's not, the speed's not great. And that's really going to be what hurts this card overall. It's tough to be a dominant card when you have a low speed to begin with in Mutt. Next, guys, you guys already saw Chandler Jones last night, I imagine, the reveal, but I do have him in here somewhere. This is the Series 3 stuff. So we have Team Affinity, uh, new theme builder challenges coming tomorrow. We have a level incre uh, increase, level cap, you know, gonna, it's going to go to level 70. We know that. Series 3 trophies are going to be converted from Series 2 trophies. And then we have Series Redux in packs. So remember, Market Crash probably come tomorrow. You guys know the deal on that. And then we have, here we go. Here are the Series trophies. are going to be green, just like that. Nothing too special right there. And then we have, finally, Series 3 updates. So we got level cap increase, 6170. We got month dedication, Series 3 multiplayer, which is just the um, get the wins for the trophies. Team captain expansion, which just means the team captains get higher overalls. Month master expansion, month master gets higher overalls, which Andre Johnson, I believe, was getting no Andre Johnson's a level master, so level master expansion. Andre Johnson's going to get to a 93. Coach Madden expansion, which just adds more to Coach Madden exchange to 89 to 90 overall. 32 series Redux players, LTDs from series two, team of the week, legends, LTDs, ultimate kickoff, and most feared will be added now. And we're getting 32 new team builders. So that's pretty exciting, and a lot of you guys like the whole team builder stuff. But yeah, that's about it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to join the Poodle Squad, comment down below Poodle Squad, like the video, and turn on that noti bell. Want to do all those things. You aren't your first chance to be shout out in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys need coins for anything related to Series 3 or today's LTEs, go down below to myreserve.com. Use code Poodle for 15% off your order. Take advantage of the Halloween discounts right now. That's about it. Thank you so much. Wait, real quick. I remembered I didn't show you the Chandler Jones. 79 speed, 85 excel, 85 strength, 93 tackle, 94 play rec, 83 block shed, 94 power move, 91 finesse move. Actually, a really great pass rusher. Not a good block shed. You can always go Lawrence Taylor. Ricky Williams and a lot of those other guys. Uh, Ricky Jackson, sorry. You can go a lot of those other guys. They're going to be better. They're going to be way faster. So Chandler Jones is okay. Not bad if you pull them, you know, sell them, get the coins. But there are better options at that position. So don't feel like you're forced to just go with Chandler Jones. There's definitely other guys. I mean, he's really good. Like the pass rushing aspects are good, but you're not getting the athleticism, which why would you sacrifice the athleticism when there's guys that have the block shit and the athleticism. But that pretty much wraps this up, guys. For real this time, thank you guys so much for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day. Let me know down below if you pull any of these guys. I'm out. Peace.